Well, things are not so rosy up on the hill. The Utes lost to 10th ranked Washington last night and had very little offense to show for it. Utah's lone touchdown came here down 7 0. Zach Moss on blackout night takes it over from the four yard line. It is 7 7. But Utah was the victim of some bizarre circumstances. Browning's pass picked off by Cody Barton. Great interception there, but it was negated by a roughing the passer call on Lecky Fito and got him, they got him for targeting, so he was ejected. That's the second ejection for Utah. Kept alive, drive alive for Washington. Browning hooks up with former Pro Bowl high star Ty Jones for the touchdown. Now Utah still had some chances. Peter Tonga with the interception. Looks like he's going to take this one back for the pick six, but he fumbles the ball at the 11-yard line. And despite good field position, Utah could not score. Fourth and one, Huntley's pass off the hands of Connor Holler. Utah lost it 21-7. They fall to 2-1 and one on the year, 0-1 oh in the Pac-12. Dana Green has more. Now, Washington has a fantastic defense, but the Utes didn't do themselves any favors. Three turnovers, two empty trips into the red zone, two targeting penalties, countless drops, and for the second straight game, the offense scores just one touchdown. We had some chances. Well, I guess the bottom line is we had some chances, didn't capitalize. When you play a team that good, you better capitalize on those uh, opportunities the ones you do get and uh, we didn't do that. I said this last week too, we got to be more detailed because in the red zone we go back and look at the film and everything should work, you know. And so I think we got to reevaluate a lot. It seemed like every time we'd get something going tonight we just have some dumb thing that would you know, set us back. I definitely give uh, credit to Washington defense. They uh, they definitely play hard all four quarters and they swarm to the ball and um, they allow, you know what I'm saying, they, they allow not big plays. How do you guard against targeting and huh. your players to be aggressive on defense? Yeah, well, we harp on it and teach it a certain way, and I guess uh, we didn't teach it good enough. I never concern myself with the refs. It is what it is, and it's not going to ever change. I'm confident that we'll see them again in the Pac-12 Championship, and that we're going to win the South, and uh, you know, that's, that's our goal. And so, you know, in the locker room, we're talking about no guys hanging their heads. Let's be positive. Let's learn from this. And, uh, you know, take this next week, this bye week, you know, to learn, to get some stuff together and uh, come back swinging again. Did I really say it is what it is? <laughs> Please strike that from the record. It is what it is indeed. And the Utes have a lot of work to do going into the bye week. They'll be back on the field in two weeks at Washington State. At Rice Cycle Stadium, Dana Green, News for Utah Sports.